Hello, I am here to talk a little bit about Jennifer Lewis, who is a professor of biologically inspired engineering at Harvard. So Lewis graduated from the University of Illinois with a bachelor's of science in ceramic engineering and high honors in 1986. From there, she went on to MIT to get her doc doctorate in science, in ceramic science, in 1991. Uh, from there, she went on to become the Hans Thurnauer Professor of Materials Science and Engineering at the University of Illinois from 2004 to 2013. And in that time, she worked at the Frederick Seitz Materials Research Laboratory, starting as the assistant director and quickly moving up to a directorship. From there, she went on to become the Hans George Weiss Professor of Biologically Inspired Engineering at Harvard, starting the Lewis Lab. Harvard. And we've got sort of a word cloud there of the types of things that the Lewis Group at Harvard works on. It's a very diverse lab. So what have they been working on lately? They've been working on microbiome batteries, and more importantly, the things I'm interested in here. They're going from working with ceramics to polymers and hydrogels, making biological scaffolds. So what we're talking about with a biological scaffold is something where you're making a structure of non-biological material, where you're then filling in cells to basically fill in the gaps. So Lewis started out with hydroxyapatite, which is a material that's found in bones. It's also a ceramic material, going back to her background in ceramics. And then with the move to Harvard, she's gaining, she has gained more access to biological technologies and is working more specifically in bioprinting, where she's not just printing biological scaffold structures, but actually printing cells. So we're, what we're looking at on the left there, that sort of twitching sticker, is these heart cells that are growing and living on that chip there. And then on the right, we've got 3D printed human kidney tubules. So some of the building blocks of a human kidney. So the Lewis Lab recently has been published for their work making this rubber for these touch-sensitive robot fingertips on the upper left. Coming back to those biological scaffolds, looking at that image in the bottom left, there's that ceramic foam ink that the Lewis Lab has done some 3D printing with. And then on the right there, we're looking at a close-up image of that those kidney tubules from the last slide, where we're looking at the inside of one of those tubules. Some of the next steps for the Lewis lab are looking at immune concerns. If they're moving from these drug screening type things where they're working with parts of an organ on those little chips to actually putting these 3D printed materials in the body where, you know, the body doesn't like things that it doesn't recognize. So essentially, Jennifer Lewis, this really impressive person going all the way from the University of Iowa to MIT and Harvard, and really showcasing these diverse applications of materials and ceramic science in biology.
Thanks, folks.